Oh yeah, like oh, Scrappy did number one. Uh, he had a good interaction with the Doberman. Overall mood improving. <laughs> I get these emails back immediately, like, oh, no, no number two. You couldn't get number two. <laughs> well, I fucked up because the dog didn't shit. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, so I just started lying in the emails. I'm like, oh yeah, Scrappy did one, two, three, and four. He peed, he pooped, he puked, and he came. So <laughs> he's empty. So just uh, I'll leave the money on the dresser, I guess. I've been having a tough time in fighting a lot with my sister. I have an older sister and we fight all the time as siblings are wont to do. But it's more difficult for me because she's a therapist. Oh, this is, this is the worst, yeah. We get these arguments, she has this arsenal of crap I just can't compete with, you know. We get in a fight, she's like, Grant, you know what you are? You're just a codependent narcissist. You overcompensate with comedy because you're afraid of your emotions. <laughs> I'm just like, you're fat. <laughs> Still makes her cry, you know? I, uh, you know, I don't. No, it's cheap, you're right, it's cheap, and I'm smarter than that, and I wanna take it up to her level. Okay, I'm proud of this, the other day we went to this argument, and she's like, Grant, I'm never talking to you again. I'm like, fine, I'm never talking to you again. So we're never talking again, right? Hour later, she sends me this email. Attached to the email is this article about resentment. Yeah, which I resented immediately. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so I sent her back an email with an article attached about passive aggressive behavior. Boom, up top. She fires one back about the competitive male ego. Yeah, so I sent her computer virus. <laughs> now she's talking about I won, so. <laughs> but uh, I'm half Jewish, uh, and it's on my dad's side, so technically I'm not Jewish, but uh, you know, tell it to my face and hair. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm actually confirmed Catholic. I am also bar mitzvah Jew, and I'm a practicing Buddhist, actually. Kajubu is a word I made up. <laughs> I did grow up learning about Jesus. Now, Jesus was a Jew, right? Which I feel like people forget. I feel like people forget that. I think the reason is because he was like the least Jewy of the Jews. Right, have you seen him? He's tall, he's handsome, he's fixing things. <laughs> I have not seen this Jew. This is not the Jew that I'm familiar with, right? Isn't it weird too if you think about it, that Jesus was a carpenter? Because it's like, why? Why bother learning a trade? You're the son of God. Do that. <laughs> Why get an associate's degree at that point? It seems like you're good. You should do that. And then I realized, of course, there's the Jew. There it is right there. He was a Jew. He had Jewish parents. He had a Jewish mother. A Jewish mother doesn't care if her son is the son of God. She's still going to be like, well, you should have something to fall back on in case the whole Messiah thing doesn't pan out. He carves you during the day. You Messiah at night. You get some disciples under your belt. Then you make the switch. That's why I bet Jesus, I don't know, I bet he wasn't that great a carpenter. You know, you never hear about feats of carpentry in the Bible, right? There's never that line of lepers and blind people and just some guy with like a broken cabinet, you know? <laughs> I bet the first guy to take the Lord's name in vain was actually complaining about some shitty work he'd done on their house. <laughs> some guy's like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, what am I paying you for, honestly? <laughs> oh, well, it's gonna take a miracle to fix this. I, uh, I was a fat kid growing up. I'm a former fat kid, and uh, you know, one of my big fat kid pleasures, other than uh, video game, well, other than food, obviously, was video games. Actually, I love video games. I still do, but it's a guilty pleasure now because I'm older. But also, because video games have gotten a lot easier. Like I remember, old school video games were so difficult. You actually felt like you were accomplishing something legitimate, right? Like you could put one of those old school games. You beat one of those games. You could put that on a resume, you know? <laughs> it's like in a job interview, if they were like, "Do you work well under pressure?" It's like, "Well, I beat the original Mega Man." Well, you're hired. <laughs> you might be overqualified. Right, they those games were Japanese, they didn't mess around. Three lives, game over, fatty. Take it from the top. <laughs> Not these new games, man, no. I was playing this game recently, I kept dying at this one part over and over again, right? And its screen popped up, and instead of game over, it said, hey, notice you're dying a lot here. Do you just wanna skip this part? <laughs> this moment, I'm looking around my apartment, I'm alone, I'm 31 years old, playing a video game. Like, do you realize what I've skipped to get here? <laughs> By the time my dad was 30, he owned a house. Yeah, I'm renting this game, okay? I'm not gonna skip it. This is it. 
Thank you guys very much. My name is Grant Gordon. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thank you.